I'm Dr. Charles Rotolo from Total Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, and today I'm going to be talking about osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is a condition where you have breaking down of the cartilage, and uh, it's, in particular, it's the cartilage that lines the, the bone, so what's called articular cartilage. This cartilage is very smooth uh, and is different than the meniscus, which is the fiber cartilage, which is the rubber cartilage between the two bones. The friction coefficient of cartilage rubbing on cartilage is less than ice gliding on ice, meaning that this is a very smooth surface. And when this breaks down and wears down to, to the level where you have bone, that's like sandpaper rubbing on sandpaper. So there's a lot more friction. And with that friction, you get swelling and you get pain. There's a couple different treatments that you can do for osteoarthritis. And I like to start simple and then from there advance to, the, to, uh, to other things. There's not any one thing that has a permanent effect for osteoarthritis, even joint replacements. And joint replacements can last for a very, very long time, but they don't last forever. And so the first simple things that you want to start off with is ice if you're having swelling. Uh, certainly you can take uh, anti-inflammatories if you don't have any, any medical problems that restricts you from having that. Or you can take Tylenol and you can do low impact aerobic exercises. All these things have been shown to help for pain from osteoarthritis. From there, if you're having more significant pain uh, and these are not uh, uh, helping or, or not giving a lasting effect, I like to move on to injection therapy. And with injections, there's two types of injections that you can put in the knee joint. Uh, there is a corticosteroid injection, which is a one-time injection that usually works in about a day or so and can give a couple weeks to a couple months of relief. Uh, and then there's something called visco supplementation. What visco supplementation is, is an injection once a week for three weeks of the normal lubricating protein that's in the knee joint, uh, this stuff called hyaluronic acid. So it's an injection of this lubricating protein, uh, which helps to increase the viscosity of the joint fluid and calms down inflammation and uh, helps relieve pain. And when this works well, uh, this can work for about six to 12 months. Visco supplementation is something that can uh, be repeated as many times as it works because to our knowledge it doesn't have any harmful side effects. Uh, and so my choice between a corticosteroid injection and visco supplementation really has to do with the person's presentation. If someone has uh, minimal swelling and has some mild arthritis, especially in a younger person, I might go straight to the visco supplementation because it's a, it's a normal protein that's in the knee joint. Again, it, to our knowledge, doesn't have any harmful side effects. And, and that might last for a very long time. If it's someone with more severe osteoarthritis of the knee, someone with a lot of swelling where their knee is very inflamed, I might go with the strong anti-inflammatory, which is the corticosteroid injection. And the other advantage to the corticosteroid injection, it gives you relief in about a day where the visco supplementation can take about two weeks to start working and it takes about eight weeks for maximum relief. Um, besides that, there is a limited number of patients where an arthroscopy might help for this problem. Arthroscopy is a procedure where you make three small holes in the knee joint, a tiny one here, a tiny one there, a tiny one up top. You put a small four millimeter camera inside the knee joint to look around. And then from there, you can clean up tears of your meniscus or remove loose pieces of cartilage that are floating around the knee. Arthroscopy has a limited role for osteoarthritis. And, and if your only problem is worn cartilage that's on the knee joint, arthroscopy doesn't have any significant effect. But if you have a large meniscus tear where you're having mechanical symptoms or you're having a loose body that's floating around the knee that's giving you mechanical symptoms, arthroscopy can um, be a benefit. There are certain patients though where this, uh, even in these scenarios where this does not work well, where there's severe arthritis or there's malalignment, meaning that the, there's a deformity of the knee joint where most of the weight is on one side of the knee joint. Um, these are scenarios where arthroscopy may not be considered. Uh, besides that, the ultimate treatment for someone with osteoarthritis is a joint replacement. Uh, a well done joint replacement can last between 10 and 20 years. Uh, that, is a, that is an open procedure uh, where you replace the, the, the uh, end of the femur with a big metal cap and a metal cap that goes on the top of the tibia with a piece of plastic that goes in between. And again, uh, this has been shown to have a very good success rate um, and can give uh, certainly pain relief for a very long time.